this is one of them sewing projects I've been meaning to do for such the longest time. It seems silly because this is so easy to do. I am going to make some DIY paper towels. Yes, DIY paper towels. I want to reduce the amount of paper towels that I am creating on this earth. So let's see what we need to make them. So the paper towels that I've been using, they come in like half sheets instead of the big full square sheets. So I have been trying. So I'm going to make these into more of a square rather than a rectangle. So I'm going to measure how long this is here and it measures in at 11 inches. So basically I am going to make this 11 by 11. I think that's pr plenty big enough. We are going to make this smaller because we'll be adding in a seam allowance maybe half an inch so i'm going to start cutting my material so for your diy paper towels you're going to want something that's absorbent right so i have here terry cloth i am going to use terry cloth over the microfiber and this is the reason why i find that terry cloth isn't as staticky as what microfiber is because it generally sticks on itself and stuff so i am not going to use my microfiber for this particular project so i'm going to put this to one side and concentrate on my terry cloth and obviously i want it to be a bit more substantial than just using a piece of terry cloth and I'm going to use some quilting cotton so I'm going to cut some pieces of my terry cloth for my DIY paper towels at 11 inches by 11 inches and I'm going to get some plain or some pattern um, just general quilting cotton and cut this 11 by 11 too you can sew as many of these paper towels as you wish so basically you're going to put right sides to right sides now terry cloth does have a true right side and a wrong side you'll see that it's not as fluffy on one side so this is the wrong side and the fluffy part is where it would be the right side so you're going to put the fluffy part against the design if you have one if you're just using plain fabric it doesn't really matter you don't really have a right or wrong side on plain fabric so you're basically just going to put it right sides to right sides now you're going to want to wonder clip or pin all the way around and then we're going to take this over to sewing machine because we're going to we're going to leave a space probably about two inches at one side it doesn't matter which side it's a square so just leave two inches where it's open so we're going to go all the way around and sew and I want you to make sure that you're going to catch every single bit of fabric and it's going to be wise to stitch on the cotton side and not on the terry cloth side it's just going to be easier because terry cloth can be a little bit stretchy and unruly so I would do it on this side when you're stitching so let's get a pinned and we'll take our DIY paper towel over to the sewing machine. I always use the Baby Lock Soprano for my sewing tutorials. So we want the regular foot on our sewing machine. And in the thread here, I'm just going to put some regular polyester thread in. I use the Gussman brand for any of my general sewing or piecing for my quilts. And then in the bobbin, I just use the same thread as my top thread. I'm just going to use a basic straight stitch for this particular project. What I might do though is lengthen out the stitch. I'm going to do it to a 3.5. In my sewing needle, I always use a 9014 Microtex sewing needle. It's sharp and it's a great needle for doing any sort of cotton based work. So all I want you to remember is two things. I want you to leave a space that's two inches wide. I'm going to do it round about here. I'm going to start about here, leave it about two inches wide and go all the way around. I'm just going to put my foot here. Just make sure that you're catching both these layers of fabric. Do not go over your sewing pins because that's just not good. You could break a needle. The 
the pin might actually break and go into your eye like just don't ride over your pins can we just take a moment to say how cute these pins are though so when you start sewing go back on yourself and just go down i'm leaving quite a huge seam allowance at the side i just want to make sure that i catch everybody and i know how unruly like stretchy fabric can be when you're attaching it to because you've got one piece of fabric that's stretchy one piece of fabric that's not stretchy so sometimes they fight against each other so just be mindful of that remember when i did my first sewing project and i tried to sew with minky and minky is really really unruly so i have my pivot key on and my pivot key will automatically raise this foot up and down okay, go in here i'm coming up to another pin i'm going to take this pin out they're too pretty to break And I'm going to come to this corner here and then this foot automatically raises up and down so I'm able just to move my fabric really easily and that's what I love about the Baby Lock Soprano. Take the pin out. Take the pin out again. Come into a corner, we're just going to pivot around and go down again. Take another pin out, go down. What I love about these sewing projects is it's something really quick and easy for a beginner to do because you want that instant gratification when you're doing some sort of a beginner sewer project and it also helps you to learn how to sew in a straight line it's a great little project even though it's really easy don't downplay these kind of projects because it's helping you deal with two different fabrics it's helping you to just do a little mini project that you can achieve really quickly so this is a side that we're going to leave the two inch gap and we're going to go back on ourselves So we just want to let that stitch in. There we go. I'm going to take this off the sewing machine and go back to the table. You continue on and do all of your little projects to this point, and then we can finish everything off all together rather than going backwards and forwards to the sewing machine. So YouTube is telling me that 93% of you watch these videos and are not subscribed so don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me and don't forget to like the video. Thank you. Here are our DIY paper towels so far and what I like to do is just tidy them up and I will cut off the excess. Don't cut into your stitches, just tidy up all of this excess here so cut close to the stitches but don't cut away the stitches at this point i'm going to turn my iron on and have my pressing mat handy and then i am going to turn just remember this two inch gap i'm going to turn it right sides out so you're going to push everybody through the hole and you're going to get it to the right side you might want to use some sort of a turner at the corners just so you get them nice sharp corners here we go just get somebody don't use your scissors because you might actually make a hole and then Go to the other corner and you're just going to poke all them corners out so they're just nice and pointy and they look nice. You could do that to all of your paper towels. Now we're going to press this down because it's a little bit creased because we folded it into itself and you're just going to want to fold over 
this opening just to make sure that you have no raw edges showing you want everything to look pretty so just press it down you can choose to use steam if you want if you don't want it's up to you let's move this over here I'm in this pink phase right now like everything pink now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew all the way around here this also helps to close up this opening and it helps to show a little bit of detail another thing that I am going to do is sew a square in the middle I know I kind of cheated by using gingham but hey ho um, so I'm going to do a square in the middle here and this prevents this terry cloth from moving about in the wash and stuff like that and it keeps everything nice and flat so let's head over to the sewing machine once again go as fast or as slow as you want to go I'm just going to follow this line all the way around it's a great thing about using gingham there's lines to follow And again, I had that pivot key activated. So it's just gonna go up and down every time we stop sewing. So you're like me, if you've been thinking about doing this DIY paper towel project for the longest time and never got around to it. And I was so silly because it's, as you can see, it's super quick and easy to complete these. I'm probably thinking that they're going to be better than paper towels. They'll be more effective. Just always remember to reverse at the start and beginning. This stops your stitches from unraveling. So I'm just going to do a small square in the centre here. It's just going to stop my cloth for moving about when I wash it Some people put can snaps on their DIY paper towels. I have this wire basket that I got from the dollar store a while ago. So I am just going to neatly fold them all up and I'm just going to put them in to my wire basket like so and that can hang out in my kitchen so if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below have you had a really silly project that you keep on meaning to do and you've just not got around to it like me and my diy paper towels let me know and thank you so much for watching bye guys